This is the steepest hill we've come across and it's on the last day. Short and nasty. Where's Jack? Still in a number on him. I'm a coming. He's coming. He's high in spirits. Like I said this morning at breakfast, he's done bloody well for someone who puts away six or seven bungers a day. Doesn't really do much else, but he did say at the start of the track that he walks 11 kilometers a day on campus. So we'll give him credit for that. 77 kilometers a week on campus, Jack Thompson. Take a bow, mate. All right, inside the dying stages, we've just hit some really nice scenery. We thought it'd be a nice place to give you an update. From Fern Gully. Get it? <laughs> We're in a gully. And there's ferns. Anyway, we're uh, bloody warmed up. Legs aren't feeling too bad. How about yours, Jack? Mine aren't feeling too bad in set form we go down the stairs. <laughs> he jams his knee a bit. Mm. But besides that, um, just wanted to give a shout out to Jake Brown, also known as Panther, for being the number one believer in Panthers that I know. I've been in Panther territory for three days now. Rugged cliff faces, rocky terrain, and now I'm in a fern gully. No panther sightings as of yet, but don't let that um, deter you from believing that they're real because I've barely seen any wildlife on this trek. <laughs> Very inspiring stuff <laughs> there, mate. Uh, I've got a shout out. We said yesterday that we'll have to shout out the first person that springs to mind. So, panther, you are a Jax. Uh, I'm going to say hello to Daniel Lactator Lackey. Lacey, whatever your name is. No, Lackey, you're a uh, spring to mind. I think you'd enjoy your time out here with us. Um, so we we really think you should come on the next one uh, and enjoy the fruits of your labour. Yeah. You've been officially invited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you beautiful thing. <laughs> oh, how fucking good is that? That's what dreams are made of, people. <sighs> Five kilometers to go. What's that mean? It means we've walked 39 kilometers. That does mean that. What else does it mean? I get to have a fucking bunger. <laughs> Five Ks gets a bunger. <laughs> Work for reward. Task. One thing Tats has taught me. Task. It's hard, but it's worth it. Task reward. All right, we're gonna set up camp and have a coffee as well. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Stop filming. <laughs> Looks like we're hitting the final descent down into Janolan Caves. I'm excited. Jack wishes there was an elevator. <laughs> I've been looking for the line up for ages. <laughs> There's not one. But all the big games are won and lost in the last five minutes. So in our last five Ks, we have to finish stronger than we started. Yeah. Any final words, Jack? Hope I get there. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? There's a friggin' hole in the ground over there. Yes! Also known as... Janolan Cave. A cave. That is a big hole. Just... There. I'm bloody excited. <laughs> Can't get down this bloody hill quick enough. I'm just walking off the edge of the spur. The other one's over there, there's a big valley, so you can see how back in the dinosaur era, the water would have forged a hole through the valley, and hence forth a cave. 
is now for us to view after walking 44 kilometers in the pouring rain. Taking a little, oh, I've been hit the jubblies by some scrog. Scrog, fruit and nut mix plus M&Ms. Delicious. But yeah, last, gifts to men. last stop before the de destination. It's pretty much the first time we've had a decent view to look at, although obstructed by trees. So we just nice. Jack thinks this is what life's all about. Just sitting down and looking at cool shit. Thank you, Mother Nature, for producing the goods with these this hilly terrain. That in the prehistoric era would have been underwater until Gongwana and Iguana split, making the two subcontinents. And now this is the largest landmass and we call it Australia. Home. Yeah, a bit of a metaphor in there. I've been <laughs> to cities that never close down. From New York <laughs> to London to old Janolan town. And no matter how far or how high we've trekked, I still call Australia. He still calls Australia. Home. Very good stuff. <laughs>